Well, this video is off to a great start. My camera fell before I even started recording. I hit record and bloop. Okay. Hi guys, it's Caroline again. I know it's been a while. I just filmed another video I'm going to put up. I don't know which order, but this is going to be my November wrap up and it's the smallest wrap up that I've had probably ever. So the first one I'm almost done. I have about three chapters left is Darkly Dreaming Dexter by Jeff Lindsay. And I love it when authors narrate their books, and that's a book where the author narrates. I also think that it's very close to the Dexter TV show. It's just called Dexter. It's not called the Dexter show or <laughs> anything. And I loved that show, so I am really enjoying this book. I got it for about $3 on a massive sale. If I found the rest of them for about $3, I would definitely listen to them. But I don't think that I'm going to be spending my credits on them. But it is very enjoyable. I haven't rated it yet because I haven't finished it yet. The other book that I am not quite finished, not anywhere near finished, I'm only about halfway. I've been reading this book for two weeks now. I've been in a very, pretty bad reading slump for the last few months. I don't know why. And this is the new Jim Butcher book, The Aeronauts Wind Lass. So I'm not going to talk about my rating or anything because, like I said, I'm only halfway through. But I will say that this is everything you want from Jim Butcher. The world building, the comedy, the humor, the... Just so far, it's everything his other books have been. And it is wonderful. I'm not a huge steampunk person, so it's not my favorite. I will say that, but I also really really enjoy it so far. Now for the three books I finished. First I'm going to talk about Career of Evil by Robert Galbraith, also known as J.K. Rowling. I was so pleasantly surprised that Jo could narrate a bad guy so well. That's not something I expected from her at all, but it is wonderful. It goes back and forth between Robin Cormoran himself and the bad guy, who you don't find out who it is till the end. But the whole time I was like, it's that guy. There's the three guys it could be, but it's definitely that guy. And they kind of, he, she kind of did the bait and switch trying to make you think it's other people, but nope. It's, it was the first person I thought it was and who I really thought it was all along. I just had brief moments of, well, maybe. And this is the best Corman strike novel yet. I just... I love that Joe wrote as the bad guy. There's a little bit of romantic drama between Robin and it's kind of been going on the whole time, but there's a little bit. No Robin, why, 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 why? Joe is perfect, Joe is the queen. <laughs> this book is so good, I highly recommend it. Like 4.75 out of 5 stars or 5 out of 5 stars if you're on the good rate, good reads who doesn't do fractions. Then I read the graphic novel Low. I actually don't intend on keeping this because I didn't like it that much. I thought it was confusing and there was no real plot line and I just, it's just meh. I think I gave it 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It's a very just meh. It wasn't terrible. I didn't regret reading it. And then finally, how could I not read the illustrated edition of The Sorcerer's Stone? I can't wait for the rest of these books to come out. It is a huge freaking book and it was very expensive. I got it as a birthday present because October was the month of books being released. I asked for this one as a gift and I received it and if I didn't receive it I was going to buy it. And the illustrations are beautiful. It's the classic tale I think everyone ever has read. Just take a minute. And there's Ron. Oh, nope, nothing on that page. Quirrell and Voldemort. They're just, they're beautiful. This is a beautiful book. I read it in one sitting and I am, um, it's just, it's perfect. It's perfect.